In today's health alert, a Michigan man has passed away after battling a rare fungal disease. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Glenda Lewis. And I'm Brian Abel. Ian Pritchard had developed blastomycosis, an infection caused by a local fungus. He died just days before his 30th birthday. So here to explain more about this fungus, our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy. And Dr. Nandy, please share more about Ian's case. And are these tragedies common with this infection? Yeah, first of all, you know, I want to give my sincere condolences. Yes. What sad news, right, to Ian's family and friends. And Ian Pritchard was a chef in Harbor Springs, and he spent 11 weeks fighting in the infection, first in Petoskey, mm. then at Henry Ford Hospital in Detroit. The infection had unfortunately ravaged his lungs beyond repair, and that's according to a post on the family's GoFundMe page. Now, a blastomycosis infection is caused by a fungus called blastomyces, and this fungus lives in the environment and is most often found in moist soil and decomposing organic matter like rotting wood and leaves. And when the soil or organic matter is disturbed, here's what happens. These tiny spores are released. If these spores are breathed in, if you breathe them in, then they enter the lungs and can turn into yeast. Then this yeast can stay in the lungs or travel through the blood to places like skin, bones, joints, organs, and the central nervous system even. And as for tragic outcomes, you know, according to two studies that looked at these cases, approximately 8 to 9 percent of individuals with this infection passed away. That's a big number. Having said that, right, the overall mortality rate, the rate that people die, is likely lower because the studies did not include patients, Glenda, who had less severe infections. So is there a concern for us locally with blastomycosis and how do we prevent this? I mean, if it's in soil and plants, what? Yeah, it seems like it's a good question, right? So the yeah. fungus mainly resides in the Midwestern, South Central and Southeastern states. It's often found in, in places around Great Lakes. Overall though, blastomycosis is not very common. Important to know, in places where this uh, infection is reported, there usually is only one to two cases per 100,000 people each year. However, uh, there was an outbreak last year, you know, the, at the Billaroot paper mill in Escanaba, Michigan, with over 100 cases reported and one death. On a positive note, most folks who breathe in these spores do not get sick, and only about half of those infected develop symptoms, and those symptoms include fever, cough, shortness of breath, night sweats, being tired or fatigued, muscle ache or joint pain, chest, rib, or back pain. Now, unfortunately for some folks, especially those with a weakened immune system, this infection can get very serious. There is treatment, and most people infected will need antifungal medication. A course of treatment can last six months to a year, so a long time, depending on how severe the infection is and the strength of your immune system. Now, when it comes to prevention, it's important to know there's no vaccine. And people at risk of severe infection should consider avoiding activities that you mentioned this, right, that stir up soil and, and places where blastomycosis is commonly found. So I think, listen, it, it's a very tragic event, and yes. but ple people need to know that it's not very common. And if you're somebody at risk, just take the precautions. Yeah, and a young person too. Oh, it's, it was sad horrible. To see. Yeah, and especially when there's treatment. But sometimes you have to know the treatment doesn't work. And so if you're at risk, again, Take the precautions. All right, Doc. We appreciate you. Hey, my pleasure. Thank, Thank you, you so much. And don't forget to tune in to the Dr. Nandy Show this weekend. This week, he's focusing on how teeth and health go hand in hand and how diet can directly play into that dental health. Monday morning, 2.30 a.m. right here on 7. Did you see that pose? Look at that pose. <laughs> <laughs> that was the growl. <laughs>